Hello and welcome to Mr. Tompkins EdTech. Uh, now, we've just had our first full day of lockdown yesterday, it's day two, uh, and I want to look quickly today at getting attendance data out from live lessons and things like that that you're running. Now, I've got, I taught five lessons yesterday. This is my year 11 group. Uh, and you can, you probably already know that you can add this insights panel to your own teaching groups. Um, if you haven't added it already, you can just click up here, add an app, and search or find insights in the list and add it in. Uh, now this is really useful, it gives you a lot of inf information about your own teaching group. Uh, so if I click on it here, um, hopefully this will be a bit more meaningful after we've had a few more lessons. Uh, but quite pleased to see that in digital engagement this week, I had zero inactive students, which means that everyone pitched up for their first lesson yesterday. And if I click on there, look, I've got digital activity for this week. Uh, so January the 5th, which was yesterday, you can see that all my students were logged in uh, for their first lesson with me yesterday, uh, which is really good. I'm really pleased about that. So a great start to the year, especially as they just heard that um, their exams have been cancelled and they all still pitched up uh, and participated in the lesson really fully. I'm really pleased at how that went. Uh, but you know, that's great information for me. Uh, it tells you all sorts of other things as well. So it's, it's, if you're a classroom teacher, then definitely load the insights panel and have a little look through what it does. Uh, but from a school point of view, um, this is very narrow, isn't it? I mean, um, I can only look at my own groups and you can only do this for groups that you are the owner of. Um, so as a school, um, can't see this data in here, or can you? Now, I've got a admin account that I've signed into. So this is my, my teaching account, but I've actually got uh, access to the admin account for Office 365. And I'm signed in uh, into Teams with the global admin account here. Um, so you can see the global admin account has no Teams that it's a member of, uh, but I've installed the, the Insights um, app here. Um, so I can I can select it. And what that will do, it will give me a dashboard of the whole school activity across the whole school. Uh, so you can see, unsurprisingly, uh, not a lot going on on, on New Year's Day, uh, ramping up. Um, so January the 4th would have been the, the first teacher day. We had a teacher day on the 4th, on the Monday. Uh, so we've got 443 active users, probably staff and a few very keen students. And then yesterday was our um, first remote learning session day and you can see we've got uh, almost 1700 people online um, which is that's a good good amount actually that's most of our students and staff uh, it's early <laughs> it's 10 past 8 at the moment we've had 48 active users already this morning so I'm, I'm assuming that'll be up there by the end of today uh, and then underneath it's got like the the kind of breakdown of times that people are active so you can see that we are most active during school hours unsurprisingly Weirdly, some people still online at 12 and at 1 a.m. 18 people still active. What are you doing, guys? Go to bed. And um, 65 people active already uh, at 7 o'clock in the morning. Go us. Anyway, so that's that's kind of interesting. It's just kind of a little bit of a picture of what's going on. Um, but I want the data. Okay, so I'm going to click on reports. Um, not a lot of reports you can run at the moment. Um, you can run, basically you can extract all the uh, user data for, for everybody for a, a, a given time period. Now I haven't done some experimenting with this, I found that you need to type in weirdly. So if I want yesterday's data that's the 5th, then I have to select the 4th as my start point to the 5th as my end point and that gave me all the data from the 5th. I don't quite know why that is. Uh, but and there it all is. So uh, I've got all my data. Uh, the first column there is the date, and then we've got the first name and last name of the student. We've got this ID number. This is linked to school data sync, I think. It's not any number that we use in our own school. Uh, but we do have the student's email uh, that we can. I can tie this up with the rest of our data. Now the next column is the team's meeting daily time spent. So this is the total number of minutes that the student was online. 
uh, for the day uh, and active in a, a meeting. So yesterday we ran five hours of live lessons. Um, so that should be five lots of 60, should be 300 minutes in total. So if they were total, uh, they're present for every lesson, uh, for every minute, they should be there for 300 minutes in total. Now, probably, you know, dropping out of one meeting and joining another, you're going to expect some some delay and also teachers as well, perhaps haven't started the meeting exactly on time. Uh, so 300 is a theoretical but hard to achieve total. But, you, you know, you'd expect a, a student who had done a decent days of live lesson to have about 250 minutes altogether. Uh, you've also got some other interesting things in here, like how much time uh, students spent doing Teams assignments, uh, how much time they spent um, doing Teams communications, sort of like chatting and things like that, typing messages into into Teams. Um, you've, and then you've got Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and PDF. How much time they were spending on these media within the uh, within the, the Teams app? Uh, I'm not sure how useful these are. Really, the only thing I'm interested in today is this first column here because we're running things as live lessons. We're just going to use this as a kind of an idea of how engaged our students are in the learning. Uh, OK, so this report is not going to be any good to anybody. We need to tie it in with our data from SIMS. Um, so it's in a kind of a more of a structure for our school. So what I've done is I've set up a pro forma in Excel already. Uh, which I have called my remote learning report master. I'm, I can upload a copy for this if anyone's interested in having a copy of how I've set this up. Um, you're welcome to have a copy of it. Uh, and I want to hand this on to admin at some point. I don't have to do run, run this report myself every day. Uh, so I'm kind of developing some instructions for how to run it and, and to compile it uh, for admin to be able to follow. Uh, so these are my instructions here for, for somebody else to do it on a daily basis so I don't have to. So step one, copy Teams extract data row A to O and paste it into B1 on the appropriate day. So I need to go over to my data extract that I got from, from Teams. I'm going to select rows A to O. I'm going to copy and then I'm going to come back to my report master and I'm going to paste it into Tuesday because we didn't we had a teacher day on Monday. Now I'm going to paste it into cell B1. Uh, and the reason for that is I want to leave a column at the front here uh, to make a lookup value. Uh, now, the a unique field in this data, we've got SIS ID, but we, this is not a number that we use in school. It's something to do with school data sync that's been assigned to the record. So these numbers are no good as an identifier for, for us. Uh, the report does include email, uh, and our, user, our kind of school email is of the form username at cityleicester.leicester.scoot.uk. Uh, and we do have this username stored in Sims, uh, so we can use that to kind of tie the data extract from Teams to our um, school group structures. So what I need to do is pull basically that username out of the, out of the email address. I've made a quick um, formula to do that. Which will probably I'll probably show you how to do in a minute. So sort the data by SIS ID. Okay, so the reason for that is I've, I've seen that sometimes records are duplicated in here. So you might get a student who's uh, in here twice, and their Teams meeting score or number of minutes assigned to each meeting is spread over two records. So uh, I need to find a way of merging those two records together. So the first step of that is to um, sort it so i'm going to click sort and i'm going to sort by sis id uh, because that is an, a, a unique field and it will kind of pull all the records together that are alike if there are any uh, and there's some other instructions i've got here to deal with those duplicates right so copy and paste the name in cell uh, in the next cell into a1 so i'm going to call i'm going to copy this and paste it into cell one tuesday a1 paste that's going to be username uh, instructions copy paste the name in the next cell into Q1 so total hours copy Tuesday Q1 total hours uh, copy paste the name in the next cell into cell R1 duplicate copy Tuesday R1 paste okay so I'm adding three extra columns to this table uh, 
Right, copy, paste the form the next to, in the next cell into cell A2 and then fill down. So I'm going to copy that formula, going to paste it into cell A2. Uh, you can see it, it, what it does, it pulls that username out of the email. And then I need to fill that down all the way to the bottom. So if I just double tap on that little square at the end, it will fill down. Uh, then next instruction, copy paste the formula in the next cell into Q2 and fill down. So copy Tuesday, paste, fill down. Okay, and then I've got this last one here that checks if it's a duplicate. Copy Tuesday, paste, double tap. Okay. Uh, so what these last two are doing is they're checking if the record is a duplicate or not. So if you've got two consecutive records that have got the same um, ID, and if it is, it's going to combine their um, their scores together for the number of minutes in the team meeting. So if I've got two consecutive records, if the, the report has broken and I've got two uh, consecutive records, it's going to add those up and combine them. Okay. Uh, so that's that, that's all I have to do. And then uh, I've already got this report set up at the front. Um, so uh, this has got data from our, our sims. It's, I had it already set up uh, ready to go. Uh, so it's got the student's uh, admin number, it's got their user ID, it's got their name, their year group and their form. So it's all sorted by year group and form at the moment. Uh, and then I've got four columns for the data to arrive for this week. So we didn't do any live lessons on Monday, but we had, we had some on Tuesday. Uh, and then I'll, it will continue for the rest of this week. I will add data for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on each separate day. Uh, then I've got a column for the total number of minutes. So it's going to add all these up together and put a total here. It's got a percentage and it tells you how many days they were actually present. Okay, so that's ready to go. And now I can copy and paste this into... Um, an email or, or upload it somewhere and, and share it with with, um, with staff. I've also done a kind of a summary page, uh, which is just an overview of how our students are doing all together. You can see that our year 11s are doing uh, about the best uh, and our year 7s and 8s, 9s and 10s are doing okay, but our 6th form, that obviously needs a bit of work there. Okay, so I'll put a link to my um, master sheet here. If you're interested in having a copy of that, you're welcome to it. Um, I'll upload it to Google Docs or something so you can download it. Okay, um, I hope you found this useful. I think this is a really useful tool, actually. We're just going to use this to, to to track attendance. Anyone who's coming up here on zero is going to get a phone call from our admin today um, asking why they've not, not attended their live lessons. Um, but generally, you know, I thought... I'd Really, I'm really pleased with our year 11. They've uh, really hit the ground running, at least. If you found this video useful, please do uh, consider dropping it a like and subscribe to the channel. I will be trying to update, uh, put updates out regularly for things I'm doing with remote learning that you might find useful. Uh, I also did a, a, I did a, I did a video yesterday on my own personal remote learning setup. So if you, if you, um, if you're interested in that, then check that out. See you next time.